I've ever touched I loved you anyway Well, the best that I could But now it's getting late There's a new horizon Hello, Mr. Sun Have you any spare light? Been smoking all day as the soft sun soaked my skin. I'm waiting in the garden, I'm waiting for the rush. So come on over, we can leave. I wish this day would end But it never seems to Can you hear the dawn chorus They're singing for you And I'm tired of the noise And the background moody Come on, over. We can live in the summer sun. Like it's summer. But this is my.
Please tell me how to be a man Cause I've been raised by wolves and sycophants And the barleys with their pissy beds Send me straight to hell But your love for me was like a hurricane Left a trail like the devil's tail Another lamb brought to the slaughterhouse You're the only man I've ever loved And what is a man when a man can stand His reflection in the mirror what is a girl when she hates the world? But she doesn't want to be alone in the desert. Not alone in the dark when the day is night. Now you only to be a friend but that's so hard for me to understand you get distracted when you're brain dead and floating off on a cloud why can't you love me for who I am there's so many men I to 
see the neon lights and skyscrapers and be who we were and be who we were and be who we were before and be Take me for granted. You take me at ease, and I don't appreciate what you're doing to me. We had something special, yeah. We had something good. You lay it all on me. I take it and take it and take it and take it. strangers mm. yeah and no strangers at all because <laughs> this lassie here like, one of the Kirby in Castletown the noise since you were a child oh yeah that's right and Connor yeah. Quinn so Neve Kirby and Connor Quinn and you're no strangers it's good strangers mm. yeah. so you've just done your piece for the New Year's Eve show and as you know because I'll let you know when I heard the second song I think it was or was it the first song I started crying <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the second one. It was the second one. <laughs> God, look, the tears still there, I swear to God. It got me. Um, I've known you a long time. And then the sound that you have, um, now, Connor, I'm going to talk about all the different stages of the, the career because I've seen you at many different formats and stuff. Yeah. But what, where you are at now with just the two of you, stripped back as bare as that in an empty room there. So I've got to listen to the lyrics and then... It was just from the second song, where it was, and then on the third, and then because you have a very strong voice and you have a very unique and distinctive voice, you came on the voice years ago, mm. and everybody said, "What's that voice?" No, you did, <laughs> all right, and then it was that you did a Black Keys number. Yeah, yeah. What's it called? Yeah, uh, the Lonely, Lonely Boy. Oh Jesus, yeah. right. With yeah. the letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you do that? The mullet. How long ago was that? With the mullet. Uh, it's actually ten. I think it's ten years ago. No, it's not. Yeah, it was twenty. Oh, I think it was twenty-two. Oh, I'm thirty-two now, so. So it was probably ten years. Yeah. So which feels ago. like mental, actually. So then mental. you got a lot of recognition of that, and it was your voice that people were talking about. You kept going mm -hmm. and you kept going, it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Then yeah. you did, and then um, quite shock. And then you did something in Germany. Yeah, we did a tour. We toured. You did a tour Germany. with some band in Germany. We did. Did you support some band or something like yeah. that? Yeah, Ray Garvey. Ray Garvey. We did. We did a tour with Coldline as well in the UK. Yeah, we, we, were, we were doing really well in White Chalk, and then it just kind of we kind of burnt ourselves out. I think you kept so. going and going and going. It was a lot. It yeah. was a big mm. setup and a big organisation, mm. was it? Like, yeah. All that well, tour and all yeah, that. There was seven of us in the band alone, and then with the help with management and with all yeah. the work they had, we had a big team, great yeah. team, great. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But at yeah. that level that you were hitting and, and getting there, that's tough going. Tough going. It's it is, and yeah. you really got to go tougher and harder and harder. I but you were very we, committed. We were very committed, but I don't think in, in the way we were ready. Uh, yeah. In ways we were ready, we were just having, we were young, yeah. uh, kind of early, mid 20s, just having the fun and didn't really have a clue what we were doing. Young. Yeah. yeah. And then you did that television exposure, which yeah. it's two things with that, is there? Well, I, to me, that, the TV thing was kind of, it wasn't. 
I learned very quickly in that show that it was like I don't regret doing it. It was yeah. an amazing experience. Um, but I, I did. I knew I didn't want to be a TV yeah. person. Yeah. Do you know? Because I'm not. I I hate attention. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the no wrong way. Career, career at all. Man, I've seen you rock it out on stage. Yeah. But that's different. I think it's different when you're playing on stage. It is. You're, We've you're, talked to other bands as well. When yeah. you seem very comfortable on stage too. Yeah. We yeah. Are, when we are, we're always been. We're like. We've been singing since we've been 14, 15 together. Yeah. Like we've been best friends since we were three years of age. So, like, we have this yeah. unspoken kind of. Best friends from three years of age out in Castle yeah. 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 No one and in singing Crash. <laughs> And singing together the whole time. Yeah. yeah. And then this is what happened. Then I don't know whether it was the third song or the fourth song or the second song or what song. And was, that's why I was talking about your distinctive voice. Mm. So, you have this very distinctive, strong voice. And then when you're singing along with it as well, it's almost like it's been layered or something, the voice. Mm. It's not like two different singers. It's weird. Really, yeah. I swear to God. Mm. It's, and you are two different singers, but it was just like every nuance, every slight little... Mm. It was just such synchronised. I think we've always just done that, yeah. though. Yeah. Me, me, always, I always just come up, yeah. come up with a few songs and Eve just like just ends up singing them and it just makes them sound way better, gives ideas of where they should go. And we just kind of, with lockdown, actually, that's what actually I think benefited us was the best, was we actually, and being in Berlin, yeah. we got to hone in on more of what we, our sound is now, kind yeah. of thing. We found a sound, if that Yeah, you sense. did, you found a sound. Yeah. There are big songs. Yeah. There are songs. very big songs. Yeah. And, the, and the lyrics, Ben, who writes the lyrics in these? You're writing the lyrics. Yeah. But you help you do you help me out as well. Yeah, but he's me and me. Yeah, because yeah. you're best buddies. Heart yeah. You are. And it's yeah. in the usual. You're almost like brother and sister best buddies yeah. in the world. Yeah. 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 So you're together hanging out the whole time and because music is in your head the whole time. Yeah. yeah. So we were sharing a we were sharing a bedroom in yeah, Berlin. We were. We're living near yeah. your bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you went to Berlin then, when was that? Uh just before we were we were, we came home. We left, we left at the end of 2019. November before yeah. coronavirus. And we yeah. came home. We came home yeah. last March yeah. to do a few gigs. Yeah, yeah. And then never got to go back. Never got to go back. And then you were getting into the scene there in Berlin. Yeah, and yeah. Enjoying yeah. It. Bar, Berlin. You, know. you loved, loved it. it. Yeah, it so amazing. many great... But actually, it, was, it reminded me of just a bigger Mullingar. Yeah. In terms that there was so oh, many different... Everyone looked out for each other. Yeah. And it was like, you felt like you were in a part of a team. Yeah. Brilliant. So, right. And that kind of makes sense to me. And that's interesting you said that because I've been asking all of the other bands here as well, what is this Mullingar thing? Is there a Mullingar thing? But I think what you said there, everybody helps each other out. That's and it, yeah. Definitely. And you, you instantly feel welcome or like, you know, we got, we, we got in, but just by doing open mic nights, met people very quickly. And for such a big city, the folk scene in there, we actually not, we just end up being the folk scene and I don't know how. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then, because we're a bit more uh, darker than folk. But yeah, I don't know. exactly. And then there was a song in the song, like a ballad to me. Yeah. It sounded very much like a folk ballad. Then you look like something like um, um, um oh, Nick Cave was doing, and he, <laughs> these duets. That these are these big, powerful songs saying the thing, mm. saying a lot of things, saying a lot mm. of things. Now, the the voices blend so well together; it's 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 uncanny. And, and as I say, this evening that stirred me and it made me cry. Thanks a million. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank no, you. thank you for making me cry. <laughs> we actually spent actually we, were, we used to cry listening to them <laughs> yeah, in, in, yeah. in lockdown. Yeah. Not yeah. afraid to admit it. No. Oh. You are working on an album and you're working on a single. Well, yeah. We're yeah, I feel like I've always been working on an album. You're always yeah. working on it. Or an EP, is it? EP. Yeah. An EP. Well, so it's never really got to finish anything. But no. I think for this, for this is the first time we've been mad about songs for more than six months and haven't got sick of them yet. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a good thing, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I know no. what you mean. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, I do usually, know what you mean. I, I, well, I, for me anyway... I always need always talk to me about it. I get I change my mind of style of genres very quickly and I'm like, oh I hate that song now, I'm done with it. Yeah. And Eve always gives me the shine. Because it's it's not too bad. But now, now we've because kind now you've found a body a of work yeah, that we, we actually have, you see. we actually kind of just We're go back. We're happy with now. our sound, I think now. Yeah. Yeah. More than ever. When you're hoping to get your EP out. Mm. Next yeah, year. We were, we were planning to do it last year, but then with yeah. restrictions get pushed back. Pushed so back. it makes things yeah. harder, and it really does make things mm. harder. Yeah. If we were sitting here having this chat, and you came home for Christmas two years ago or something like that, and you were getting going good in Berlin, I'd be saying, how are you getting on with the gigs and all that? And you'd mm. be telling me all about the gigs you've lined up. So if I ask you now, in this New Year's Eve, and we're sitting here, how many gigs have you lined up now? Not one. <laughs> one. We had a few, and then it was yeah. just all cancelled. Like. So you were telling me to get nothing for the next... No. OK. And that's the same with every band. We've got to uh, look at this industry. Thanks to this type of thing that we're being funded by the Department of Tourism, Heritage and Gaeltacht and Westmead County Council. 
that they then recognize this. And I think, and I feel, definitely, and this is for musicians and people working in the industry, because as you say, like, there's other lads, you're the big team. When, you, when you're in the music business, it's not just what you're doing. It takes a lot to get up there and yeah, do that. And then you need that time as well to be able to write the song, hone your craft, get your, fine tune your craft, mm. perform your craft, and then at the end of the day, hope that you might sell a record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the hardest. So the live gig is, is really where you might chance of getting a few bob in, mm. and it's not huge money, and we all know that. Yeah. So, Music no. industry has changed. <laughs> if we had money, we'd be, we'd be out for a longer time ago. The music industry has changed, but yeah. your music and your songs and the way you hone and craft your songs, and I don't mean that this is from the heart, that's, mm. that's international. That could be sitting oh, in America it's... listening to that. Uh, we don't really... Uh, to be honest with you, in the latter years, in, when I was younger, you'd always have that drive, like you want to be the bit big yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's just kind of just yeah. do it for the sake of more, just do it. Like, yeah. we love not more than what jamming in no our... <laughs> Oh, same, like. <laughs> we want to yeah. know, all we want to do, if you could do it as a career and yeah. Yeah, make yeah, yeah. a gig, yeah. grand, but yeah. not enough to all this, yeah. isn't it? No. But it's, um, I think... But you can yeah. and do, and you have to keep it going, but yeah. you're recording and doing... You know, as I said, the live scene is all over the place at the minute. Mm. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, yeah, thanks a million for making me cry. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, no, anytime. So happy. Big soft. Yeah, yeah, I know. And everyone watching at home will be playing. So they're the big fella crying. Neve, um, you've had a tough. You've had a tough Christmas. Yeah, it hasn't yeah. been easy now. No. No. no, no, you lost your grandfather. Yes, it is. Mick yes. Kirby. Yeah. Great yeah. man. Great man. Yeah, and you know it was special because. You know, with this, we got to uh, record St. Christopher mm. in Grouse Lodge, and it was yeah. mm. special because he, he built Grouse he built Lodge. He Grouse did. Lodge, you know, and it was really, and he was very excited, you know, when I was telling him yeah. about us waiting for yeah. word and if we got the grant, and he was delighted. And, yeah, well, and, he, and I know he'd be very happy, and hopefully yeah. we'll keep going with it. Yeah, and with your granny yeah. now. And it yeah. means so much, um, you know, for all of this, and then. Uh, Christmas and all the things and everything to to take the time and come in and do this. Oh, Honestly, oh God, thank you. no, it means so much. And Connor, you drove all the way down from Derry. <laughs> no, no, my heart wasn't the most. To be honest with you, <laughs> <laughs> dog driving all the way down from Derry is yeah. different than just coming over. in from. <laughs> yeah, uh, hung up. Some of the other lads had to just walk up the road. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, was, thanks for having us. Yeah, no, yeah, any, any so your part. No, it's nice to have. Um, really? There's a place to thing, sing and, and people to. It's good, yeah. and oh, we've yeah. all the different genres of music here. Yeah, that's so, it. Let's show it off. Yeah, keep happy New going. Year to the two of you. Happy, happy New Year, keep year too. Happy we will. Year. Yeah. Better yeah. things. Yes, yeah, he's God. <laughs> no more golf. <laughs> That'd be great. Pints! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Cody, and this song is called Ignited. Don't know much of a romance Another piece that I let slip by Incompleted Dreams of a golden sky Then I see it You when I close my eyes My eyes Take me out of this slow dance Show me all that I do not know From the places I saw but I could not go When the flames hit Everything else went cold when cold, there's a fire And it burns for you and me All the things we want to see When we're ignited So excited As we journey through the night Fighting fear and shine Did we get to this moment? Is it what we are here to do? Feel completed. Open up our eyes to what our life is a living. We can drive with the moon shining on us. Unified destiny. Cause for you I got all I need. And I'm healing. We don't wanna waste our time and not be together. Prophecy can wait in line. 
there's a fire first song I ever wrote in the world on a bus down from Dublin to Waterford and it's called Mary Jane and it's most definitely not about a girl you ask around My mind goes on replay, which makes it all okay. Except for all the fellas who tell us that our love is endless and it's not a you get jealous. But you'll revise yourself this, so why don't you just let us be Mary Jane and me? We couldn't care less, no. We couldn't care less, no.
So uh, this is the first song I want to release as a single. I haven't released any music yet. I've been writing a lot for the last two years in uh, my bedroom in the studio that I've made. And uh, I've accumulated a lot of songs. And this is the first song I want to lead with. So it's called A Million Streets. And it'll hopefully be coming to a town near you in the next few months. A million streets we found our way When the others said we can't To live and let go Was not the point There must be something more you said to me Even when we get low We'll pay the price And hopefully end up with something real We look to each other for survival Never seen another as a rival Finish playing games and we can feel love Now it's time for real love A million streets we found our way When the others said we can't We fought you every day But you led me by the hand The thought of that's enough To surround us as we fall True and a base of burning love Hold the light, control the night And both survive our pure imagination We'll leave for foreign lands A dream is sure to last Your color shines on me And I'm not fading, I'm not fading it Feels like I've known you forever Only song I know to make it better Finish playing games and we can feel love Now it's time for real love A million streets we found our way When the others said we can you every day, but you led me by the hand. The thought of that's enough to surround us as we fall through an abyss of burning love. Love took me out of my mind, tapped the beat of my soul, woke me up when you helped me not believe what I'm told. Our love was gossiping then, like you wake up burned out. Then we got older inside Different words in your mouth Different thoughts in my head I'm questioning what your game is You just want to be you But shit, I like to be famous Aspirations aside Asked ourselves if we feel love And it turned out to be real love And how do we turn the tide? When do we learn to fly? And let the flame of our love grow Till it burns the sky Wherever you want it is gonna be light And everything's gonna be right And we will be finding our way Through the night A million streets we found our way when the others said we can We fought you every day But you led me by the hand The thought of that scene The thought of that scene No True and a bit of burning love This song is called uh, It Must Be Water, and it's new enough. I know they're all new to you, but this is especially new. And it's about it being water, I suppose. Thought it was all a dream Nothing was what it seemed Not like anyone prayed for it Didn't do what we're told Ignoring lessons of old You'd always take the blame for it Shadows we'll find are real Oh 
opposed by mind and steel Fire to light the darkest winter Energy I could not attain Thinking what lies beyond forever Through the bridge of our mistakes It must be water It must be water It must be water Yeah It must be water it must be water, it must be water Falling out in the cold in search of mountains of gold To breathe and let the sun shine in It took a whole lot of hate to find a love is the way back, way back Higher where time won't take We'll live on on to light today oh fire to light the darkest winter energy I could not attain thinking what lies beyond forever through the bridge of our mistakes it must be water it must be water it must be water, yeah It must be water, it must be water, it must be water for listening and a big shout out to my wonderful band my brother from another mother Joe Murray my sister from an actual mother Becky Cody uh, it's an absolute pleasure to have them beside me making me sound good and uh, I'm forever grateful this is uh, the last song of our set and it's called Forever and Then and um, yeah I wrote over in Spain about being in Spain and not being able to stay in Spain so it was like me living my life forever and uh, the and then it was coming back to Ireland. But I'm so grateful to be here as well. So. If on the weekend it rains bad, your sun is shining light over me, all the greed and the pain. That control me, disappear when you speak Such a marvelous sound When you call, just a taste of my name I'm done, da, da. Nothing pulling me down We arise, so for now we can fly Let the lockdown end If not for today Forever you, me, forever All night, forever and then If we want to stay in your life Where we lived Like The city cease to live When we sleep And I don't know if I can Just Survive on such a delicacy Then that marvellous sound When you call Just a taste Of my name I'm done that Nothing pulling me down We arise So for now We can fly 
let the lockdown end. If not for today, forever you and me, forever all night, forever and then. If we wanna stay in your life all through the midnight, all night, forever and then, forever and then. Forever and then. If not for today, forever. Big thanks to everybody for being here, helping us out, all the crew. Really appreciate it. I'm Cody, and thanks so much for listening. So, Cody, Cody, and then Cody. I remember years ago, and we were in the Market Square and something, and because I knew you as Andrew. Yeah. Right? And then it's like, uh, tell Cody or get Cody. I was like, oh, Cody. And then it said something else about Cody, and I was going, yeah, Cody. And then... They said, just call it. I said, no, no, it's Andrew. And then someone said, they called and said, yeah, I'd call him just by his last name like that. <laughs> so you're Cody. I'm Cody. I suppose the parents, uncles, and teachers, I'm Andrew or Andy. Andy. Yeah. But you're Andy, a- and women now, hold on a minute. Who are you? I'm Andrew's sister. So yeah. He's Andrew to me, always. And that, that's your name, Andrew's my sister. Friend, my friend. That's the most unusual name, well, though. My first name is Andrew. <laughs> no, it's not. What's your name? My second name is, is the sister. I know what your second name is because I figured it out. It took a while. Got the call, you're taking my head. So what's your name? My name is Becky. Becky. Nice to meet you, Becky. I know I met you before at the, the, the gig out in the Cullion Showgrounds with Aslan and, and you were doing your thing. And then Aslan said to you, come on, do some more things with us. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Uh, Previously, when I was in Fallen Nights, we played two gigs with Aslan, and we had an absolute buzz with the guys. So then, when I met him that night, out, yeah. out in Cullion, um, I, I wrote to him two days later and said, you stick me down on some support slots. No way. So Denise got back to me a week later and said, you're playing Cypress Avenue next Sunday. I was like, 100%. Brilliant. And then, yeah, they asked me to do uh, the INEC show, which was cancelled in the yeah. end. But, um, yeah, they were up for it, which is brilliant. Brilliant. And you have a real Mullingar accent. I'm getting it now. <laughs> I'm starting to learn how to say son. And it's working because in Waterford, yeah, right, son. In Waterford we, we say bye. So we were like, well, bye. Oh, well, Waterford, because you're from Waterford. Yeah, yeah. Two well, this whole thing is a Mullingar thing. Sorry, we're in the wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole you thing, came to Mullingar. Yeah, so I moved to Mullingar eight years ago. No way. Yeah, long time. Just how long I know you as well, Marty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. let you pick no, eight years ago. Yeah, is it eight years? Yeah. Shit. It's that I went to college uh, in BIM. In I know, Dublin, yeah. And Graham, you met with Graham. Graham yeah, yeah, yeah. Me ben, my lad went to BIM and uh, yeah. yeah Graham course. brought you to Mullingar. He did. Graham's a great guy. He is, he can't beat him. No. Um, and then you went ahead and you set up the band and then it, it merged into Fallen Lights. Yeah, the Fallen Lights. Yeah, so Fallen Lights then. How'd you play at the picnic? Yeah. Then I really don't care. I really don't mind. Extra time, row. extra time. Extra <laughs> time, extra time. Yeah, yeah, but not only that, but Graham was running around helping me doing things as well, and so we all. Because Graham, he had Graham to... is the most competent man you'll ever meet. He Unreal. Can, he, he, he runs things and yeah. he be by the books. Who was in that band, Fallen Nights? Me, myself, Graham. It was Jay Wiley and Joe Murray. Joe Murray? Joe, no the, way. The Joe Murray. Murray joined the town. Big Joe. Yeah, Big Joe from Goodman Sheila. <laughs> yeah, Big Joe from Goodman Sheila. Big Joe from the town band. Big Joe from Movement. Big Joe from Cody. Joe <laughs> plays with every band. Yeah, because we're talking to everyone. Yeah. 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 And, and I have never seen Joe any time. And I, I wish he was here to be interviewed, but he's too yeah. shy. Yeah. Well, I have never seen him without a smile in his face. No, it's it's unreal. I know. He's shy in an interview. He won't be shy at Mojo's at two in the morning, though. No, he like, won't. The least no. shy man in Mullingar. No, I know. And he can play the drums, and he can play the harmonica, and he and can the play trumpet. the trumpet, and he can yeah. play the piano. He's a multi instrumentalist. <laughs> yeah, and a great guy. Yeah. I remember when the, he broke his leg, or he broke his ankle, electric picnic. Oh, 
broken electric picnic. He said, oh, I'm hardly giving him trouble. <laughs> and a big smile in his face. <laughs> What'd you do, Joe? No, he, I broke it. He broke his leg chasing after young ones. Yeah. And he joined Fall Nights about two months after. Yeah. So we played our first three gigs with Joe and he had a full leg cast on. And he had to play his kick. He had to play his kick yeah. drum with his bad leg. No then better man. He, no he better actually, man. Sorry, no better, better man. Then, though, so right. And Fallen Lights then, and you were gone. You were like Fallen Lights and you good videos there yeah. and the whole good productions yeah. and good gigs. and. We had, yeah, we had a great team behind us. We yeah. Had, yeah, and we, we were all unified. And we, yeah. we, we all wanted the same thing. Yeah. But um, I suppose we were, we were killing it. We were doing what we wanted to do. Yeah. We started progressing, like whether it was to radio, whether it was to yeah. TV. We started getting those things. Yeah. And... I suppose internally we are kind of having our own disputes as every band does it's nothing unusual but then COVID hit boom at the wrong time it just hit at the time that because there's no wrong time it hit at the yeah. time yeah at the time man, yeah. it just hit and then uh, this is what I've been finding out from chatting to all of the bands um, we, we know it hit there two years ago it changed it rocked like a, I don't know electric picnic I don't know what, what, yeah. that, that, I know that's your thing it <laughs> was I know don't know we'll is, be again we'll be again yeah Becky you're obviously Andrew's sister so when you were growing up in your house and you're Rebecca and you're Andrew yeah. in your house yeah. and is it a musical house? It's boy, yeah. It's the most, yeah, it's the most musical. I see my my mother and my father, both sides there was musicians on, ah. on either side, but my mother is a pianist. So ah. when we were little she was And she teach you the piano. She, no, she didn't teach us herself, but she, she made us both learn piano. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The best thing she ever did. Best thing? Because we obviously even if we kinda we didn't enjoy the lessons Eventually, we kept the music going. You both taught ourselves guitar, and we, we kept. You taught yourselves it. That's is a bit. Think, and the thing about lessons, I often taught of it as well. Sometimes, just, just hammer down the grades on you yeah. and stuff. And you know, all classical. Right. All oh, I know. I, I went to piano. I went to, to learn piano when I was a young lad. Yeah, I swear, and I loved it. Yeah, and then, but she used to hit me in the, the with the, the ruler, oh. lap me in the knuckles. Yeah, yeah. They hit us, they'd be a lawsuit. <laughs> yeah. No, if, if they so, so then, the next time I'm thinking about, are you going to be having lessons? I'm me, fuck. If they, had, if they had taken out the ruler, we probably got three or four more grades up than we no did. No one ever hit me before in my life, only the piano teacher. Were you doing first year now? No. <laughs> so then, obviously, a musical house. Yeah. And then you said that year on, that the first song you did was the song, song you first wrote. Yeah. Now, when did you write that then? Mary Jane, it was my first year in, uh, in BIM. Right, so my my what I thought my whole consensus is that I was going to join uh, BIM. Yeah. In my first year, I had never written a song in my life. I was singing covers. I was singing like whatever be Kings Leon, Jet. All, yeah, yeah, all yeah. Songs Just at the time. I, I had it in my head. I was going to go into college yeah. singing covers, and I was going to have a record deal within two years. Didn't yeah, even yeah. think you had to start writing songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wrote Mary Jane as a project yeah, yeah. in October of my first year and then that was my first song I was like okay I might actually be able to write some songs yeah, yeah. and then, then it, kind of, it kind of snowballed from there you know yeah so then you found so do you think Rebecca did you go to BIM? I did you <laughs> went to BIM as well? <laughs> followed my footsteps I Brilliant. No. About, I think it was like four years after you I started years, you yeah. were in your like second last or, or okay, last okay, year yeah, yeah. Yeah. and I started as well and all the lecturers that knew him knew me so when I was at the audience I was singing a song and I was like I knew that they knew Andrew. I had a chat before, yeah, yeah. and I was like, I'm into this. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to let me in. It's Brilliant. Cool. Yeah. Uh, ben, my lad, my son, and he, music, 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 and he went lessons and lessons and grades and was bored with it and all that, and not bored with it, but stuff in the grades and wasn't working. And then he taught himself guitar, he used to sit in the bedroom and he, from YouTube and everything, and then, yes. and uh, yeah, bon, t taught himself stuff. So that I knew then, and something, and then I heard about Bim. And so that's it, you're going to be in, don't worry about school too much and all that, you're going to be in. <laughs> of course, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, no, well, the, the, well, the Bally Farm at Rock College was there was as well. Theory, and it, it's not that, you know, we want to be a rock star, it's just that if you're no good at doing this, and I'm never going to be an accountant, or I'll never be a veterinary surgeon, or I won't be doing this, but I'm good at music, I love doing it. Yeah. Even if I'm not good at doing it, and I yeah. just love doing it. Yeah. And if you love something and you get good at doing it something you taught. love... It can be taught 100%. Right, it, yes, it can. No, 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 no parts of it can be... Yeah, you learn how to... The structure of a song. Yeah, you learn know. how to put... To, to play Into the thing. Your notes, your notes, your notes, yeah. And the more you do that, then the better you get at it. 100%. So, but that ingrown inner talent that's inside, that can't be taught. No. Now, you have it, and you obviously love it on yeah. stage. You come across terribly naturally altogether. It's no bother to you. Like, it's no bother at all. You're just... Boom, they're in it. Because like, we'd all perform regularly. Especially yeah. like me, myself and Joe played in the band. Yeah. Eight years, we were playing all the gigs we wanted to play. Yeah. Becky's been playing the Waterford scene now for the last like maybe four or five years. Really? She's been doing it. Like What's that. the Waterford scene like? I know all the boys. 
Freddie uh, and the lads. You know, with the background smoke. Ah, oh, they're brilliant. I love them. I love them. I love them. Shout out. Shout out to the boys. Yeah, Freddie and all the boys. Yeah, you should have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Instead of smoking the fag. <laughs> smoke the fag. Smoke, 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 smoke the fag. It's very much and back, cover, cover gigs. Driven, covers. So there are very few big bands that have come out. I suppose there, there may not be the market for it in Waterford. The people that play in maybe to be a DJ, but they might play in to see a band as much as they would. So I get, no. I know, I know. Yeah. When you came to Mullingar, then you came to Mullingar. Do you think there's a Mullingar thing with the well, music like, or something? In Waterford, it was house and techno. So for the last, like, my last three years, from when I was maybe 17 to 19 to 20, it was all like uh, techno raves, which, which I, have, I, I do love. All DJs coming in. When I went to BIM, I started realizing like the, the kind of the outside world. Uh, yeah. Outside Waterford, when, when I got brought to Mullingar, that changed things. I was in Mullingar, I say I came to Mullingar four times. I was like, I want to live here, so I moved into Graham's house. Yeah. I slept on a, on a bed on Graham's floor. Yeah. For three years. Yeah. Graham's mother Sharon left, left it all happen. She she left. She took me under her wing. Yeah. She fed me some of the best dinners I've ever had. Yeah. Place. I'm not this new mother, but um, then. Obviously, great moved away. I got my own house here, and I intend on staying here for a long while. Good man, it's and Rebecca, years, yeah, yeah. it is. And, but there is a scene, yeah. and it's like everything. It's almost destroyed two years ago. So we, let's do something this way. Build it back. Where we build it back, absolutely, and try to keep the whole thing going and keep yeah. bands going. And folks, thanks a million for taking part in this and happy no, new no, year to you both of you. Thanks for having us. Hey. Hey. We're, just, we're, we're privileged to be a part of it, and I'm so glad yeah. to be accepted into the Mullen Gab music scene. Yeah, because they're all my brothers, like every band. I know. Also, we're all so the close bands look out for each other. Yeah, it's good. We play together. We party together. Yeah, you know, we, we have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. nice one. Fun. Thanks again, both yeah, of you. Right. Thanks a million. Cool. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Polly Martin. Um, I'm going to play a few original tunes uh, for you now, so which will feature on an album that I hope to release in 2022. Um, one of which I had the pleasure of recording in Grouse Lodge uh, recently with the extremely talented Alex Borwick at the helm. Uh, all thanks to Marty Mulligan and the Mullingar Music Collective, Evan and Paddy in Grouse Lodge uh, and Westmead County Council for the support through the local live performance programme. Um, usually I have a, a full seven piece band with all my good friends, Jerry, Shanley, Sherwood, Murray, Connor and Neve uh, from Good, good Strangers. Um, but unfortunately I've had to isolate. So here I am with me, myself and Arlo the dog. Enjoy.
next one is Cherokee Rose it's the one we recorded out in Grouse Lodge so I'm going to try my best to do it all on my own
Thank you. My name's been Paulie Martin and happy Christmas and happy new year and all the best for 2022. See you soon.
Propaganda, propaganda, propaganda.
year of movement, um, we're in the stables. We recorded the band playing yesterday. And when we asked you about this a few weeks back, because you only had a few weeks to do this, and how long of a set would you be doing? And you said to me, precisely 18 minutes. And then I asked you again last week, how long of a set you'd be doing? You said 18 minutes. And I timed you yesterday, and you know how long your set was? 17. <laughs> <laughs> so 17 minutes. Minute. <laughs> we owe you a minute. <laughs> so, movement. Um, I remember you boys growing up, because we were around the same age, so we got Kevin. We got Mark and we got Martin and we got is is Isabella or Isabella? Isabella. 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 Mm -hmm. And Martin's your daddy. Mm -hmm. And these two boys, are your uncles, yeah. flanked either side. Yes. You're like the music mafia family. <laughs> from yeah. and you are, and you always have been. Because I knew you growing up, and Raw November. I remember Raw November very well, oh. and there was all oh, something about you boys, because oh. you were, oh, they were dark and mysterious and almost like punky or what is going on with them we're always <laughs> well, we're always the cool band <laughs> and then over the years and it, then you know it'd be off the scene or there wasn't a scene or whatever and then a few years back I heard movement yes you were doing yes. this movement thing and I said to come along to let your picnic and I meant it because I've always been a fan yes, I've always been a yes. fan of the work seriously so then one thing after another and then yesterday the 17 minutes blew me away. Yes. Now, I've been listening to the album. You've got a new album just released. What's the album called? Transformation. Transformation. That's it. And the single that you have now released, the single off it, is called We Almost Go. Yes. I've been playing that non-stop in the car. Very good. I swear to God. Yeah. It's track number three in the thing. Yes. I go to track number four, go to track number five, and I hop back to number one again. I love that one. Propaganda. Propaganda. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Whatever it is, you've a sound, and it's 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 your sound. There's no doubt. It's it's a sound, and it works really well for me driving the car. But then yesterday, so how long have you been rehearsing? Wait a minute. I've got to choose full band. So Isabella, what age are you? If you don't mind me asking. Fifteen. Fifteen years old. Mm -hmm. And you played with a rock band in the stables yesterday. Yes. And how long have you been playing guitar, Isabella, with your blue guitar? I've been playing guitar for six weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> For two years she's been yeah. in with us two singing years. and singing. playing. Sort of you playing look so cool and so natural and in your own environment and just not a bother and not phase you yesterday. Yeah. Right, and that really came across. Were you really nervous? Uh, I was a bit nervous, but I was really just enjoying it. it was actually really you fun. were? Yeah. It came across. You kept you cool because Jay, the other guitar player in the band, is not here um, right now. At one stage his guitar stopped working because mm. I looked over. And his guitar, and he was trying to fix something. But you carried on playing. Yeah. <laughs> and did that not phase you in any way? No, I didn't. I didn't really know his guitar stopped working. And then when you look over and you see your dad going the way he was going on, and I'm going to go on with that now in a minute because you were going on. <laughs> but you looked over and you see your dad, and what was through your head? Well, I've seen it before. I saw that. It's I not new. <laughs> no. In rehearsal too. Yeah. And then how many rehearsals have you had for this gig? How many rehearsals? Good. Be ten or twelve, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But twelve. But twelve. That's unreal. So you're the youngest member of the band, mm -hmm. and are you the newest member of the band, or Mark, are you the newest member of the band? I'm newest, aren't I? Yeah. Same time. Exactly. Same time. Same time. Same time. Same time. Because yeah. movement is you two guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. same as Raw November is you two guys. Yeah. We think yeah. of this as, as you two guys. You yeah. have your own studio, your own setup down yes. house. Yes. Yes. Writing, writing studio. You've, yeah. Yeah. A writing studio. Yeah. And you've yeah. always been producing stuff ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. We, we do a lot of it. We yeah. know that everybody in my garden knows this. Yeah. You know, because yeah. everybody's always doing stuff and they've got albums yeah. out there and yes. they know stuff on the internet <laughs> and everything and they're always doing yes. stuff. They're always doing stuff. So you've been doing stuff for how many years then? Oh, thirty plus maybe. Thirty plus years, maybe. Thirty plus. Yeah. Say that louder again. Thirty plus I'm years. I know what age you're. I know what age you're because I know oh, you're, yeah. you're younger than me. Yeah, and I do know what age you're. Yes. Forty-two. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. But I wouldn't be surprised if we were playing music since you were twelve. And then, no, we started quite late. We started like yeah. I only got a bass guitar when I was about nineteen or twenty, so we were quite late. We were always yeah. music fans, but I was then, quite late. So, how would you describe your music? Um, Things went through my head yesterday looking at you. Idols went through my head. Just energy of Henry Rollins or something like that went through my head. It was different things, Nine Inch Nails. All those things were just flashing yeah. through me. How do you see yourself? Where do you fit in? What, what, what yeah, well, genre? It, well, I think it comes from what we listen to, really. Yeah. So we listen to all those bands. Yeah. And that's really what we started out as music fans. Yeah. We still are. We listen to everything. Yeah. So you know, it tends to be dark. It tends to be heavy. 
tends to be, but we listen to it's, pop stuff too. You know, we're not totally yeah, yeah, one no, genre. Yeah, it's, it's you said dark it's and mix, heavy. It's yeah. not dark and heavy to be honest. There's parts yeah. of it, yes. It's yes, heavy yes. And it's dark. But there's um, your words. Who writes the lyrics? You write lyrics. We kind of write them uh, together. We, we do, don't we? We, we both write different sort of yeah. sets of words or whatever, but when it comes to the final, when we're putting yeah, the track we down, we would look at the words, the two of us, and change them round. Yeah. yeah. You know, and you're not afraid to, to say things with no. social commentary, I think. No, exactly. I suppose propaganda really propaganda, speaks for itself, you know? Right? Yeah. Propaganda, it's about basically, I suppose, we all go through life and we, we know certain things that we're being told yeah. are not true, yeah. you know? But to delve into that, you know, yeah. do you know what I mean? That's what it's doing, it's trying to delve into what is the truth yeah. and what are, what are we being told lies, you know, yeah. whether it's by the government, yeah. whether it's by, you know what I mean, people around you, yeah. you know. So yeah. it's really trying to find the truth yeah. rather than the yeah. lies that you can so, be fed, you know. Yeah. It's, just, it's just that there's too much information out there yeah. and you just don't know what to believe. Yeah. It would be and the bottom you, line. So You're of an age mm. and you can say that can sit settled in your life and stuff yeah. and all that, yes. you know, like that you can, with conviction, get this message, these messages yes. across. Yeah, it's just asking questions really. It's not really giving yeah. an answer as such. And I picked it up mm. in the lyrics, and then we all must go. Um, and if the song keeps putting, it's, it's going through my head the whole time. Yeah. yeah. So what's that one about? Yeah, we all must go. It's it's basically about at the end of the day, we're all going to die. Yeah. So, so it's just it's just a journey talking it's about that. I'm trying not to see it mean? as a darkness. Trying to so wonder bit, where we're going. And would that be the lighter song of your whole set? <laughs> well, <laughs> because it's inevitable, I suppose it's it's all about not and seeing it as a darkness. More yeah, like you know, yeah. we would see a, it as a light. But you'd phrase but it so that it's going to happen. So before we go, we must sow. Well, sow your ideas. Get your mind. Get your ideas out there. Get your ideas Don't out there. Don't sit in yeah. your own room and yeah. do nothing. Say nothing. You know. Yeah. Contribute because everybody else is doing it. So yeah. your voice is as important as anybody else's. And you're not your head mm. here. You're a young lad. What age are you? <laughs> not uh, just all about age. We're actually thirty. Yeah. So. Are you? Mm. How long have you been playing the bass? Uh, about with the band. Two and a half years, I'd say. No, two and a half years. Yeah. Oh. oh, with the band. With, yeah. Uh, well, kind of, well, I move, suppose move that long we were, recently, yeah, we yeah. were doing a drift in different songs. I suppose, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was kind of jamming along songs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because something is really, I don't know how many. Like you used to tell me how many rehearsals you had. What happened there live yesterday it was just looked and felt right to me. Yeah. There was a, yeah. a sound in a wall or something, and it was yeah. a sync sound. It's getting there, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then you switched from being the mild mannered gentleman that you are <laughs> into some sort of what is going on in that man's head. <laughs> I swear to God. I couldn't do my eyes, I was mesmerised. It's probably just the music gets us going, and that's yeah. it. And when you're on stage with the others, so it was you just totally good fun, been, you know. Like, I don't say He's watching Iggy Pop too much, I think. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Iggy <laughs> Pop, Henry. Rollins, all yeah, of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. I met him and I went and I had a long chat with him, and I yes, swear that's what yeah. went through yeah. my head yesterday yeah. as well. Yeah. But the sound and the songs and uh, the album, the album, where is the album? Where can people get the album? Yeah, Bandcamp, where everybody gets Bandcamp. it. Movement.bandcamp.com. It's, it's on Spotify, Spotify, Amazon Music. Yeah. Apple. What's the name of the album? Transformation. Transformation. Yeah. And by Movement. By yes. Movement. M O V M E N T. Yeah. Yeah. Just to point that out to everyone. Yeah. yeah. Ah well, it was just the name. We actually had the name a good yeah. few years ago. We yeah, brought yeah. we put a song on a compilation album we brought yeah. out yeah. With, with bands from town and from other towns, yeah. and we just put one on called Movement. Yeah. And that's what we use. We use the same name basically. Yeah, it's cool. But it's there a long time, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like year. Yeah, well, like somebody asked me before, even when we were on Raw November, to ask them about the name. But ultimately, I think you become the name. So once you have the name and your music starts, to, it's like Tim yeah. Lizzy. You don't really think of the name; you yeah. think of the music yeah, yeah, and the yeah, song. Yeah. So that's what I would think long yeah. term. Just like such it, an honesty to hold everything that you do. Oh really yeah, is. yeah. You know, it's um, there's no you don't hide anything. There's no no pretentiousness. There's no rock no. star attitude. No, no we don't. I'm not really into. I'm into music and yeah. writing songs. Because you'd be going to gigs. Important. Oh yeah. You were oh, always yeah. known for going to gigs. You oh yeah. Gigs. Yeah. All the gigs. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. in the last two years now. Well, none of us have been. Yeah. Um, Mark, how did that be for you yesterday? Were you nervous? Because you haven't played a live gig with the last I before. don't think I realised I was up there until I was off the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know, I know what you mean. Kind of still trying to get your head around it, like, even still down today, like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, you get images of the flashing back and something. Yeah, you've never done it before, you're not sure what to expect, like, so. But saying that, like, it was great having 
family all around you like yeah. Around you. yeah and did you get a buzz off it a real oh yeah there's a buzz there's a natural buzz off this mm. and this is what we've been saying to bands for years that you don't need drugs and you don't need all this stuff you don't need to be drinking before you go onto a stage you don't need to because there's a different buzz that you oh, generate yeah. Yeah. and the energy that you created and generated yeah. in the room yes, it is energy yeah yeah, yeah. So then when you come off the stage then after that buzz, that's that's the sh- true buzz that you've earned. You know, mm-hmm. and everyone should always tap into it and the ways to use that, you know, and that energy. You created great energy yesterday, you've been created great energy in Mullingar for thirty years at least. And mm-hmm. um, I don't want to say you're the old guard of the town, but you are. Yes. O- old and new. <laughs> you know, yes. New now, well, old this, and new. This to me, Dennis, it's probably excited. better for us as a band, even though we've been doing it for a good while. Yeah. Bring new people in and feed yeah. off of their energy, you know, yeah. the new, Absolutely. fresh energy, you know. But the fact then that this family, you're doing yes. it. And I know you were first busy for rehearsals because you're cutting every dog's hair. I've never seen so many. Mullingar is a home for the finest groomed dogs in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've been in your spare time. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, folks, can't thank you. Enough, <clears throat> honestly. No problem. Um, yeah. The single. Is um, we almost go. It's yes. out there on Bandcamp, Bandcamp, yeah. YouTube as well. YouTube, yeah. YouTube. Yeah. The video is unreal. Who made the yeah. video? Some fell in Hollywood. No, we did it. You did we it do it all ourselves. Yeah, you usually. Do yeah. Yourselves, you know? Mostly, mostly, yeah, mostly. You do yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. The video is amazing. The yeah. song is brilliant. The show yesterday. I'm not kidding, and I'm not saying this. Just saying this for. I mean it. Um, it was one of the highlights yesterday for me because I I just got lost in it. And um, I get it. Yes, I really brilliant. get it. Brilliant. So I can't wait to hear you when you've been playing guitar for six months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to have to ask your parents as well. But can you come to the Litter Picnic next year and play at Litter Picnic? <laughs> yeah, would you like on that? On the word stage in the minefield. Yeah, you'll be able to do that. Now you'll be going to school the following Monday. So we'll <laughs> you on the Sunday. have something to tell your friends in school. Okay. Thanks a million, all of you. Honestly, Cheers, you thank you, Mark. It's such an important part of the whole Mullingar thing. Yes. It's a pleasure, pleasure, an absolute pleasure. Um, and I can't wait to see the footage and everything. So, Brilliant. Yeah, show thank you. Show me New Year's Eve to all your friends. We're going to tell everybody. Yes, so, very good. Watch it New Year's Eve. Television is useless on New Year's Eve. It's not yes. good on the telly. So, no. we'll be going live to the whole world. Brilliant. Yes. Yeah, so, Cheers. up movement. Up, up movement. Mullingar. Up Mullingar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, Marty. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. Culture, Heritage and the Gale Talk, or a mean and mean and for giving us a few bob to put this on. And Westmead County Council, Kim McGee for our project coordinator, and Mary Moran, our arts officer. Without you guys, this couldn't happen. Got a mean and mean and Thank you. 
tied up in news, but I want to be so much to me. I feel I've given up, I know I'll never find her. My friends, they suck it up, this time you hit the grinder. See you later, heading out of town. You call the cops on me and I'm sure they're going down. Not for the hassle, but I know I can't be save her. Get in the road, yeah, see you later, I can date her. Next time I'll walk out. Scream and shout, next time she'll be nice to me She didn't good for company She'll be on my own I'll my mobile phone, next time I'll be okay Next time the girl will let me stay After three days she calls and says, where are you baby? I said, leave me, you know sometimes I'm crazy Say I'm sorry girl, nice to get in touch My mind's made in a world cause I miss you all so much Jump back into the car, drive as fast as I can Bar, lonely broken man Straight back into her arms Without a second thought She loves me with her charms Loves the flowers that I bought I'll see you later Heading out of town You call the cops on me And I'm surely going down Not worth a hassle I know what kind of say to her Hit in the road Jack See you later Agitator Let you be with me I'll do anything for her Get my good kidney Now six months later Looking like a leaf She says I agitate her And she thinks that I should leave Nothing to do Get back Bumped him in the car Turn on the engine I drive her every far Put the boot down Drive as fast as I can Crying real tears again Of a lonely broken man See you later Heading out of town You call the cops on me And I'm surely going down Not worth the hassle But I know I can't say her Hit in the road Jack See you later This time it'll all I can To be a better man This time I will on my own I call my mobile phone This time won't make seven mistakes There's about to face This time it'll be alright This time she can have her shite Got 
tree. I feel just I know a moose can pull it down the size of us. A real man, a tackle. I can't remember what I had. My head is gone. It must be, must be all the drugs I'm on. I need a bit of folks say Don't know much more I can do. Wrap it up, I've seen enough. Never had a year, so so fuck it all. Time to call. Time to vote to call. Vote, shout it out, man. It's the first of time I shot. Thanks a million. Happy New Year. Up, oh, Mullingar.
Good evening. We are Scally and the Dirty Rats. This song is called Get Ready For War. So get ready 
are making me skeptic. And hundred babies in a tank that's septic. It's so obscene and it's so absurd. But you're all fucked up from the fucked up world. You're all fucked up. You're all fucked up. You're all fucked up from the fucked up world. It's so obscene and it's so absurd. But you're all fucked up from the fucked up world. You're all fucked up. You're all fucked up. You're all fucked up from the fucked up world. It's so obscene. Thanks for your patience. Yeah, so anyone watching this online or fucking streaming it, we wish you a big happy new year from Scally and the Dirty Rats. Wishing you nothing but love this year. And a big thank you to Marty Mulligan, to Movement, to The Scam, to Bobby and the Blunts for everyone making this a special occasion. Seventh Commandment, I wrote it one day after I got in a big fight on Paddy's Day um, in a pub in town. 
I got two, bl I got a black <coughs> eye, and the fella I was fighting with had a walk in fucking dislocated nose. Just woke up the next morning and wrote this song about it. <coughs> <coughs> What do the lads know you around the town? Scally and Scally and the Dirty Rats, yeah. Yeah, that's the band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And how long has that band gone now? Uh, four years. Four years, because then years ago, I saw you. First time I saw you years ago, it was in uh, number one. There was, was a thing yeah. going on, yeah, yeah. There was a thing going on there oh, some weekend, yeah. long time ago, a charity thing. We put on a gig. Um, Come as you Horizon. are. Come as you are. Something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. And you were there and you did this head and you. And I was going, who's your man there? And someone said, what's this eating Scully? Yeah. And I said, yeah, but what does he do? He's a singer or anything. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you got Ben, he got onto my Ben. Yeah. And so he gets you his guitar and he said he was going to play with this fella called Eating Scully. And I was going, Grant. And then I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> and from that moment, I got it. Yeah. And then I've seen the different, I would say, incarnations, not really. Developments. So, yeah. So then, First band then, when you rocked out then, you were called... The Business. The Business, right? There's another band in Dublin with the same name. And you really were the business, you're doing the business, because you don't hold back. No, we don't, Mark, yeah. No, you, sure. You're a full show, you're a shy lad now. Uh, I'm not shy, but I'm just chill, you know? Yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. When I get on stage... You well, you're on stage, you're mental. Yeah, but it's just, that's what it's about, Mark, you know what yeah. I mean? It's just like, to me, to me, music is... To me, music is just all about expressing yourself, and I guess, like, uh, I don't really... I mean, a lot of people say to me, Ma, your house must be mental, like, with a mad, a mad person like him and all that, but it's not, our house is really chill, but when you go on, when I go on stage, I guess that's where you get all the, the anger, uh, I guess, uh, out of you, like, you it know. It feels right to you, doesn't it? Yeah, man. I feel right on stage. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. more comfortable on stage, and I could be talking to you on stage now in front of an audience, loads of people, than I do sometimes just standing outside of the stage. Do you, yeah? Yeah, I swear to God, yeah. yeah well, it's the same sort of thing, the mad thing. Yeah, yeah. I guess, like, I, I, I feel pretty comfortable in, in, more, in most places, but then... You're confident. You, yeah, You're very yeah. confident, lad. You always were. Yeah, but on, on stage, like, I feel like, you know what I mean? That's kind of where I belong, like, and I yeah. can express myself in yeah. a way that you just cannot do in... I've seen you, you climbing towers, 
Jumping off things, wanting to set fire to things. Yeah, yeah, I've set fire to some stuff. I've jumped off things, I've fell, fallen through roofs, I've fucking split me head open. I've, uh, yeah, done a lot of crazy shit, but like, I but guess... that's you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I think, <laughs> yeah, but I know. And like, it's, it's natural. You're not putting it on. No, you couldn't. You, 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 you couldn't put it on because if you if you get into a stage where you're trying to do something or you're trying to create an image that's not yeah. yours, so then the whole thing's gone to shit yeah. straight away because then you're just yeah. false or you're pandering to something. Because like, I my music could be a lot more conventional. It could be a lot more poppy. It could be a lot more polished, mm. and it could be it could be a lot more. Um, how would you say? I could get a lot more fans by doing things in a lot more yeah. simmered down kind of manner. But sure, then I'd only, be, I'd only be lying to myself, and you know what I mean? You have to be able to get up and look. I couldn't see you doing it. I couldn't see you doing a forced manufactured song on stage, to be honest with you, because you wouldn't be able to do it. No. You'd freeze. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'd be, I'd be fucking, and I wouldn't be able to look myself in the mirror if I was, if I was now, doing real polish. Speaking so. of looking yourself in the mirror, so yesterday, you um, rocked it out here yesterday, Scally and the Dirty Rats. Yeah. And... It was unreal, man, the energy. It was just lift off. It was a new would be. But right from the very get go, then uh, something that did magic came um, all through it. But Look in the Mirror just blew me away. What's yeah. that song all about? Look in the Mirror, uh, uh, it's just constantly. I, get, I, wrote, I wrote that song, geez, about four or five years ago yeah. now. And uh, it's a song about constantly been on the cusp of self-destruction, you know what I mean? And, uh, and did you fail yourself there on that? No, nah, maybe not, maybe not now. Uh, when you wrote it? No, nah, when I did write it, I was, I was uh, at the time, like I was going through lots of kind of roller coasters. Yeah. I've been like mad on the drink and drugs yeah, yeah. and then like up and down again. And uh, yeah. I just felt like I was pissing away so many opportunities. I had so many, like, I always had good jobs and shit outside. So you're smart fella. Yeah, 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 sometimes, yeah, but... Uh, no, you are, you're an lad. But... No, 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 no. But um, I guess I always, I always thought like, I kind of there was. I always felt like, am I, am I going to make something of myself, or am I going to piss it down the drain? You know. Yeah. And I was constantly kind of, yeah. it's that kind of inner dialogue, and that kind of. I remember looking at myself, like literally looking in the mirror yeah, yeah. one morning, and I was kind of asking myself these these questions, and uh, yeah. then I just, I just said, fuck it, I'll put it on paper, and and then I got in the room with with Ben and the lads, yeah. and we just. We, we, you we, write very honestly, and openly and you don't hold back you no. write very honestly you you, you will write you're not afraid to put anything down on paper nah so you don't then would it make you feel in any way that you're vulnerable or something no because like you don't fear you have no fear of it i've no fear of any i've no fear of fuck all marty yeah, like, yeah, I, I don't i don't hold much fear in in, in anything yeah. particularly when it's writing music because if you can't express like music is like to me it's about self expression but it's also about like telling stories and reflecting the yeah. time that you're living through and like you're just putting that out on paper yeah. and putting that into melodies and putting that into lyrics and like yeah. if that's if that's a nice if it comes out as a really nice song that you know and it's beautiful and it's you know we're living in a beautiful world but often that's not the case and I tend to write about the kind of some of the more how would you say darker kind of things and things that people don't like to talk about and you know well, I think people need to hear this and people do need to talk and I think rock music was always a platform for that yeah. And I think proper rock music is about that, that you don't hold back. Yeah. Well, well, punk came out when we were young, long before you. And there was that energy. And I see that energy, not just, it's not just that it's a punk thing, but there's an urgency about it, and there's an intelligence about it, and it's um, like a reality rock type thing coming at you. Yeah, reality rock is. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But it's a, it's, it's an unusual term to use, but I it's probably. Made it up. It's probably quite fitting, but. Um, yeah, man, I just like to write about like what what I see and what I feel, and be a, if that's about like yeah. I've had friends who've been footballers who've you know been lived you, at the highest level and then made their that's way down. Some football's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. That's football's great. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Not you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was good. I was good. <laughs> that's at, a brilliant song. I was good at football. And then you but filmed all that down the football pitch and everything. Yeah, it was good to get the whole community involved in that. You like got we community. Played. You're a community guy. Yeah, yeah. We didn't do that song last night, but we got. Yeah, that no. day we we raised six, we raised 1600 for the Irish Road Victims Association and we also played the biggest game of football that has ever been played yeah. a registered game in Ireland and we filmed the music video so that was yeah. that was good but that was a song I wrote about my friend who was a professional yeah. footballer and then he had a lot of low times and high times and low times again yeah. but then like music we could write songs about anti-establishment stuff it could be about the yeah. government you know what I mean it's That's just to say you're, you're honest with your writing 
Yeah. So, do you think it's a Mullingar thing? Do you think that it is a Mullingar thing? Uh, there's definitely a Mullingar thing in terms of music, yeah. Like, we've so, ma we've so many brilliant bands. And I know, like, when people think of Mullingar, they automatically think of Joe Dolan or the, or the Blizzards or, yeah, Nile, yeah. or Nile Horn or whatever. But there's another scene. But there's a way, like, you, like that's only on the surface. There's lads bu buzzing around this town, like, like, like bands like ourselves, like yeah. Bobby and the Blunts, like Paulie Martin, Good yeah. Strangers, Cody, the Cronins. Yeah. There's so much absolute fantastic talent in Mullingar, and it's... Yeah. I don't know if it's something in the water, if it's just the culture we have well, around the town. You know? up, it's like, and then you come from a musical family. Yeah, well, my granddad. Uh, Your granddad is a well known singer. Yeah, Patsy is a great singer back in his day. And yeah. My sister Ella and my auntie Laura yeah, yeah. are good Sydney. singers. So. Yeah. Yeah, they're all better singers than me, but I yeah, guess we then all I, know that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I guess then you know I kind of have something. No, because I, I, I see you and I've saw over the years working on your voice and you get the voice lessons and everything. You've always been trying to um, get a better, perfected for yourself. Like yeah, you, you warm up, do the proper warm up, focus, and all that. When you go onto a stage, you treat it seriously. This is a performance you're going to see here now. You're yeah, going to get it exactly. Well, if people are if people are going to come and see you and pay money, and you're going to try and tell them, oh, we're doing this and that, you have to be trying to give them the best show as possible, and that means not just the energy and the performance, but also you want to be hitting the notes. You, you know do it mean? every time, man. Yes, yeah, so. I saw you last year at the thing when you did the support for um, Aslan and the big gig in the stables on the big stage. 500 people behind the pens and you rocked it. Yeah. You right footage of it, you rocked it, rocked it, rocked it and you did the same thing yesterday behind closed doors with no audience and you rocked it again. So you can just switch it on like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can, yeah. Nice one, man. But that's the beauty Scally of it. Scally and the Dirty Rats, what's the single, the next single you have coming out? The next single, we have an album coming out, it's called Some Buzz. It'll hopefully be out in maybe springtime when we're able to do gigs. They'll probably have to be outdoors. Um, and yeah. then, yeah, we have a full four, 13 track album. It's going to be released on vinyl as well. It's called Some Buzz and you're going to hear about it. Great, and so where can people hear about you right now? Uh, YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, just look me up, Ethan Scally or Scally. And uh, yeah, that's where you get us. Nice one, man. Yeah. Yeah, fair play to you. Yeah, thanks, Mart. Yeah, no bother. Yeah. Up Mullingar. <laughs> Up Mullingar's right. Well, pretend nothing happened. Hi, we're Bobby and the Blunts playing for the very first time.
Schaus ist toll, ey. This next song's called Meatball, I think. Get your 
Like your style. I love the way you play with your hair. So come on, girl, and get over here. I'm 
Mr. Bobby Brown. <laughs> Hello. Most of Bobby and the Blunts. Yeah. Bar one. Bar one. Who's missing? Ben. Where's Ben? He's in work. In where? In Dublin. Okay. Saw you here yesterday with Ben on stage and it was mesmerizing. Um there's four of you there. Four blunts. What's your name? Stephen. What's your name? Rob. Bobby. Yes. Women. Good man, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? And who's who's Bobby and the Blunts then? Who's, who who's Bobby? So, uh, He's Bobby. You're Robbie. No, I'm Bobby. Bobby. You're Robert. Yeah. You're Stephen. Yeah. And Ben it's is Ben. Ben. Yeah. Okay, cool. And what's the blunts mean? What's the blunts? I think, I think the story goes back to Electric Picnic a couple of years ago. Go on. Where, um, it was before Robbie was even in the band, yeah. and um, he was he's like, oh, Robbie, do you want to come out and smoke a joint with us? And he's like, <laughs> no, 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 he's <laughs> like, blunt, man. That's right, and then he said, no, man, I only, I only smoke blunts. Yeah, so and then, then Uncle just, K, you know? And then <laughs> <laughs> Uncle K christened me. <laughs> and then he said, I only smoke blunts, and then we just started calling him Bobby Blunts. Yeah. And then uh, he joined, he started another covers band and called it Bobby and the Blunts, and we kind of went, we like that name, and we, we stole it. Really? And we brought him, so oh, it's cool. fine. Ken with the band, Ken with the name. Yeah. Deadly. You said the Electric Picnic. So you need an Electric Picnic. I saw you on my stage, the world stage. Yeah. How many years played Electric Picnic? Me personally? Yes. Well, as once. Oh, as blunts. I think like four years. Four years. Like four, yeah. years. four years. So, how long are you going? Like four, four years. About four years. Like four years. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then this comes back around to you. What age are you now? I'm 23. You're 23? Yeah. You joined this band when you were 19? Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe it was five years. Uh, I know, quite that young. sounds oh, more I'll like say it. that. Well, <laughs> I've seen you playing with Ben. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> I didn't see you were about I was, uh, 50. Text, text, <laughs> my, text my boyfriend earlier. <laughs> Look, we'll break into his mother gently. <laughs> Be all right. No problem. What's your friends? <laughs> it's all fine. It's all about so, board. But I remember you had the band, the, the props. The props, the early days. Yeah, me, yeah, ben, yeah, yeah. me, Ben, and Daniel. That's where and it all began for. You were a drummer. I was, I was a drummer. What? I was and sure. then. Something changed, you picked up bass. I had to. Why? There was a band in town that needed a bass player, so I just decided to get a bass. And what age were you? 16. 16. 
And who taught you to bass then? I taught myself. You taught yourself to bass? 16. I saw you yesterday. You're like a man possessed on the bass. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Well, no, you're like a man possessed, full stop. That's a fact. <laughs> Playing the bass as well. Thank Brilliant. You. Stephen, you've been, I've known you since you were about 15. Yeah. And you're always the nicest, politest, grandest fella to ever sit behind he's, any drum case. He's a prick. He's not. <laughs> he's the nicest, soundest fella. And we saw you about 15 years of age and you were touched, man. Then I saw you yesterday and uh, there was something different in you. And I've seen you I all loads of times. I took my glasses off. I know you took your glasses off, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was cool. Not that, uh, not that you weren't. But there was something different. So, so you've played Electric Picnic. What was your worst gig ever? Oh, we've had a few of them. But no, I, you know what? No, no, we've had a few. We've had a few of them, but I don't know if we can blame the place. We can probably just blame ourselves. No, that's like Carpenter yeah. building his tools. There's been a uh, yeah. There's, there's been great gigs. You have to learn bad. how to play good by playing very bad. That's very true. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm totally still trying to figure lost, it out. But it's too deep for me. <laughs> I've seen you on stage many, many times, and there's such a buzz off you because it looks to me like you're just having to crack the whole time. That's the, the idea of the whole the whole thing, really, just to go up and have fun, and hopefully everyone else has it's, fun with us. It, it, to do, because that's infectious. The audience feeds off that. And then, like yesterday was a, another experience. I've seen you so many times, but the song seemed different to me yesterday. Some of the songs seem to have different parts in them or different endings in them. What was going on? We just can't play the same parts twice. Yeah. So you were just making up as you're going along? Yeah, we do, we, do a lot, we do a lot of jamming at the starts and end of songs just, just for the cracks. One thing we like to do is we, like, we write out a set list and we don't really think about it too much. And then once the song ends, we look at the set list and then try and figure out how to get into the next song without planning it. So we try and just jam into the next song if we can. Just jam into it so you're literally improvising the breaks, the bits in between. Yeah. yeah. You are. Sound is, um, how would you describe your sound? I know, I describe it as uh, funky, punky, drunky. We'll take that, yeah. That's, funky. That's, yeah. yeah, that's pretty pretty much what it is. Like, mm, we, we, we've had, we had a discussion not too long about what kind of genre we are, and we, we couldn't even figure it out ourselves. Yeah. Like, we just kind of... We just play what we like. Play right? what we like, go yeah. and then go help for letter. Yeah, yeah, full on. Like, it's so, and it really comes across. So then, King of the Castle, what's that all about? That's your new single. We're planning on not being the new single, yeah. The the song isn't particularly written about anything or anyone yeah. in particular. It's just we were sitting down. Robbie came up with the riff yeah. and started playing it. And then we sat down in front of the whiteboard and just started writing lyrics. I think the first lyric in the song, it takes a special type of person to pick up a smoothie, is a line that Robbie picked off the, no, was no, it no, the back of it? Back no, of no, it no, no, we it, totally came up with that. No, he picked, yeah, picked, picked up the back, the back of, of, it, of a like smoothie that. bottle. And then it all just tumbled from there. That's really what's assume. meant to happen. Um, drugs, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's it's heavy and heavy in places. It, it goes off into a heavy, heavy thing. And then it switches again, like most of your songs and a lot of your songs do, and it's like a jazz thing happening. Yeah. So, like, I don't know, who, who are you influenced by? Who are you listening to? What's going on with you? Loads of stuff. Mm. Loads yeah. of stuff. Well, what sort of stuff? Nah, you, 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 I know. We could I spend an know. hour talking about all that. Though, we yeah. haven't gone now. I know, yeah. <laughs> That's what I say. No, Just like, name me some of the stuff so I can t t try to get it better. I, I think we kind of, me, when the band originally started, it was like me, Robert and Ben, before Robbie was in it, um, we were all just mad into it. Like stuff without lyrics, if anything. I think bands like like the Wolfpack and stuff kind yeah, of really like and pushed and us and out. Watch it like, from far and yeah, like just everything really instrumental, battles. like not lyrical. Yeah, musicians' music. And, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. a lot of time around that kind of time, we were really into funk as well. Yeah, and it just kind of built from there, and then um, it just, I suppose, it kind of went all over the place when Robbie got out of them. Yeah, kind of stuff as well. Yeah. You, you've got so many layers and layers and layers of depth to it, but there's the sound. There's a the sound. That's the, the blunts. Yeah, I don't saying. think, in some ways, sometimes, uh, flashes of Republic of Loose or something like that, I can remember them years ago. And it was that energy that they brought to it. They'd be a big influence into us as well. I, we really loved their, yeah, their sound. Yeah, I loved all, all that. that. I mean, they came out years ago. So you remind me with that sort of energy as well, because you don't know what's going to happen next. You might. Or no, actually, because you're telling me now that you don't know. Sometimes we do, you sometimes don't we don't. But you go full tilt, full flight, like every live performance I've ever seen yet. Yeah. It's full on. So we don't really mind if we make too many mistakes when we're playing live. I don't think anyone would notice. Most of those moments, those moments pass before it's even... Yeah. I don't think the audience would notice happened. because the first thing that an audience picks up of is just that energy. And that energy is so good. Um, you, you radiate it. And then you're very engaging with the audience, all of you as well. Um, yeah, so I can't categorise you, um, but funky, punky, 
What did I say? Chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me, man. Yeah, it's all right. Is it a Mullingar thing? What's this Mullingar thing? What's going on? Because we had movement here yesterday. We had Scally, we had Scam, and then Bobby and the Blunts. Each band brought an energy. They played to an empty room here yesterday and brought this mad energy. What is this Mullingar thing? I don't know. It's something in the water, Marty, isn't it? Do you think there is a Mullingar thing? Yeah. There's, there's a crazy amount of talent. Yeah. Know, like It's an epicenter for some reason. Like just For some reason, the bang middle of Ireland has all this insane musical talent. Yeah. And not even just musical talent, like there's talents like beyond this, like even the boys behind the cameras, they have no, all this absolutely. talent, all the boys all doing sound and artists and all yeah, this yeah. crazy stuff, but yeah. and know, also, music it's nuts. Yeah, it is. And there's a thing I've noticed, um, and you know, if I was in one band and then my amp broke, would I be able to ring you up and say, can I blow your amp? Mine are usually broken, so you couldn't ring me. So you nine times out he's, he's usually you. In yeah, this I'm band. usually you. So yeah, you could, you could <laughs> ring anyone in town too. But yeah, everybody's, yeah. everybody's mates. Like, and nobody, it's not competition. Everybody just wants to do their own thing and have the crack. Like. That's the key. That's not competition. No. Because you're all doing quite different things because you're all original. This mm. is all original music. Yeah. That you're bringing out. Um, you've released an EP. You're working on stuff now. Have you got more stuff coming out? What? Uh, well, King of the Castle. Like once that gets done, we'll try and bring that out. Rob Bobby Brown out during. during Bobby the summer. Bobby Brown is brilliant. And yeah. Yeah, during the summer. I saw the video for it. The video's online. Yeah. It's, it's, you shot it all in Mullingar. Yeah, it was good crack. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> it was a serious crack. I mean, it's not the it's not the fucking best video in the world. But so I we mean, did what we could. Like yeah. in the middle of a lockdown. Yeah, well. yeah, 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 yeah. Lockdown. No, it's, it 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 captures um, the, 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 your. There's a sense of humour about you. Mm. Yeah. And it's like you're not taking yourself seriously in some ways. You can't, though. Yeah. But then, the, but the music is so bang on, precise, serious. It must take you... How long does it take to rehearse just one song with all those complicated jazz bits that you throw in for the musician's music? What do you mean, like, for a set, like? Well, yeah, because your music is very complex. We haven't practised in, like, a month. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there, like, back in the old days, when, before lockdown, when we were playing loads, yeah. um, uh, we, I'd be aware at one stage able to write a song in a day and have it ready to go for the next day. Yeah. But like since then we're a bit out of practice with each other, so. Yeah, no, and that's hard, it's hard holding it all together, it's hard holding the band together. But I saw it yesterday and you did it. Not only did you hold it together, you blew it away and I can't wait to watch the video. Yeah, can't exactly wait to see it. it, I swear. Bobby and the Blunts without Ben. Yeah. And we'll tell Ben that we all said hello and we waved him. Hi, Ben. <laughs> yeah, and um, listen, boys, Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year, Smart. Go yeah, for it now too. next year. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Rock the fuck up. <laughs> nice one. Nice. Sweet. Yo! It's called Need. Happy Christmas, small girl. And everyone else. Let's 
miss you. That was need. This one's called How Far Do You Want This To Go? How far do you want this to go? We could take things upstairs or remain down below. So how far you want this to go? We could go into my Nice one. This one is called Bank of Love, and it's for the legend Janice Long, God bless her. She actually played it a few times this year, so we were all heartbroken for Janice Long. God bless Janice Long. Oh, 
Everybody's gone to bed. It's a song we wrote for Muddy Waters. Woke up badly with you in my head. And then when this happens, I thought she happens all the time. I said you have to have fun. A voice in the back of the room replied For blood and wine and red He was the life and the soul of the party I said, now's not the time to talk, Addy I said, what's your name? 
forever, you leave forever, all night, forever, and then, if we want to stay in your life, all through the midnight, all night, forever, and then, if not for today, forever, you leave forever, all night, forever, and then, if we want to stay in your life, all through the midnight, all night, forever, and then, if not for today, forever, you, me, forever.